Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna and I'm a recent master's graduate from the Material Science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you needed any help with homework or with tutoring, then check out the links in the description below. Now let's just get started on our set of questions for today's session. Okay, so question one is a multi-step question. So part one says, how many valence electrons must be accounted for in the Lewis structure of chloroethane? And then step two, consider the, re the four resonating structures of phosphate. Calculate the average formal charge on a single oxygen atom, such as the one shown in blue, as it appears on all resonance structures. Express your answer numerically as a decimal or fraction. Okay, so let's do the first part of this question. I'll just call it A. Uh, we just need to draw the Lewis structure of chloroethane, which is C2. H5, and they also just ask for how many valence electrons, so luckily we need to know the number of valence electrons to write the Lewis structure, so we can calculate it right now. Carbon has four valence electrons, and there are two carbon atoms, so we multiply this by two. Hydrogen contains one valence electron, and there are five hydrogen atoms. And then the chlorine contains seven valence electrons. So if we add these all up, we get a total of 20. So now the Lewis structure will contain the two carbons that have a single bond. And then I'm just going to draw three hydrogens singly bonded to one of the carbons and then two hydrogens single bonded to the second carbon and then finally I'll draw my chlorine. So now notice my carbons and my hydrogens they all have their full octet or doublet in the case of the hydrogen and for chlorine we just need to add all of its lone pairs so if we count out how many electrons that are in this structure, each bond contains two bonding electrons, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bonds, so that's 14, plus the six valence electrons on the chlorine gives us our total valence electrons of 20. So that is part A. So now let's look at part B. They have four resonance structures of phosphate. And we want to calculate the average formal charge on just one of the single oxygen atoms, like the one in blue, as it appears on all of the resonance structures. So to calculate the average formal charge, of the single oxygen and it looks like yeah I guess um should be the same as this is equal to the total charge total charge of oxygen divided by the number of oxygen atoms. So let's look at all of them actually. Uh, for all of the phosphate ions, 
the total charge of oxygen is negative 3. And if we count out how many oxygen atoms are in the phosphate ion, we have 4. So the average formal charge of oxygen on our phosphate ions is negative 3 over, over 4. So this is as a fraction, or we can write it as a decimal, negative 0 0.75. Okay, so now let's see what the junior tutor said. For the first part, valence electrons are outer shell electrons that are associated with an atom and that can participate in the formation of chemical bonds. So they have 20 valence electrons for um, fluoroethane. And for part two, the average formal, ch formal charge on each oxygen atom is equal to the total charge divided by the total entity of the oxygen atoms. That's the same as just how many oxygen atoms are in the compound. And they also got negative 0 0.75. So the solution is correct. Thank <laughs> you.